Alright guys, so now that you've got all the files on your JTAG, um, make sure that you didn't touch anything during the transfer process, otherwise it'll probably mess something up, I'm not sure, just don't touch it just to make sure. Um, go to your games folder, um, or wherever you downloaded Modern Warfare 2, and go to the default underscore dot mp dot xx, and click it. Now go to okay, let's see that. Well, go to system link, create game, and put it on free for all. And I usually put the time limit unlimited so that I can just come back here, click yes for Xbox Live unlocks, and then start the game and just leave your controller there. Don't touch it. See? Just leave it there. Do not touch this controller. Just so leave the screen as it is, okay? And now, I've got my retail on the same TV, so I just go to that one. Oops. This right here. I'm going to start up this controller. <clears throat> and go to System Link, Join Game, and Join This Game. The patch that I included was called um, Binds. Um, basically you can bind, um, <laughs> sorry, that's my friend, um, basically you can bind buttons, um, to have the old wall hack and all that back, so, um, once you're in the lobby, just leave the game, stay there for about 10 seconds and then leave, then go to split screen, continue, and then, um, oh, and by the way, this is just for this patch only. You normally don't have to do this, but if you have any patches with binds in them, um, with infectable binds, then you have to do this every single time. Um, and now just don't mess with the game setup or anything. Just start the game. And it's going to say free for all terminal um, because that's what I set the code to. Now just go to auto sign FAL, whatever class you have, and then click um let me turn the light on. Alright, now just click the back button right here or select whatever you want to call it. Right there. And then a green box should show up. And if you move up to a wall you can see through it which is pretty cool this is just an online patch um... like a cheater mode kind of thing okay let me turn off the light and then you can also press down the d-pad um... you'll see the difference here when you press down the d-pad it like zooms in like how far away you can see through walls so like if you want to see far away through walls then you just press down the d-pad if not um... then you press it again and it zooms back in for you. I'm going to end the game, go to a public match, show you guys that it works um, without host. <laughs> you can bind other things too, like uh, Super Jump, XP, all that good stuff. Just go to 7 slash forums and look that up. Um, they'll show you how to do it. Ask people there, they're pretty friendly. Unless you meet a troll, which aren't fun to... Yeah. Um, so then just go to any game type. I'm going to go to Hardcore Search and Destroy. <laughs>
Okay, so then pick your class. Wait for the match to begin. Alright, now on hardcore, does I put a cool code in there. When you press the back button again, the green box is going to show up, which is aimbot. And then you're also going to have UAV in the corner, which I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you look up closely, you can see all the enemies on the screen still, which is pretty cool. It's like the good old infections that you used to have. And then, like I said, you can see through walls, press down on the D-pad, toggle that, however you want it. This is all without host, too. I am not the host of this match. So, um, yeah, that's how you set up a system link lobby. Um, there are many other methods that you can do. You don't have to use the flash FXP method, um, but I think that's the easiest. I'm going to kill this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that's, uh, oh, and also you have the red boxes around people, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, also with this, you can do, um, 10th prestige, obviously, like, infect yourself and all that. Um, give yourself 10th, all challenges, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just please comment in the box below, or, um, send me a private message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos on JTAG Mining.